everybody. So uh, we're scraping the barn today. My uncle's feeding the cows. Grandma and Grandpa went on a little uh, couple day getaway. Good for them. Glad they got to do that. They deserve that stuff. And uh, yeah, uh, the time change was yesterday. I was, wasn't feeling it yesterday, but today I'm feeling it. But then I woke up and saw the Steelers, my favorite NFL team, just signed Russell Wilson to a one-year deal. So cool to see how that goes. If you follow the NFL, I really enjoy the NFL. So uh, we are going to uh, finish scraping here, or start scraping here, and uh, take some clips throughout the day. Hope you enjoy. big group in for the milkers and we're gonna finish scraping the uh, other side all right the spreader's full so we're just gonna make a little pile outside the lot before uh, we go take this load out then we'll just come back and then dump, push this all into the spreader down and uh, feed the new shed now. I'm going to do a time lapse just easier that way. So enjoy that.
Alright guys, so <clears throat> got done scraping, fed the heifers, and uh, put straw in some of the, in most of the huts. A lot of them are the newer calves I didn't do just because still got some decent straw in there yet. So we're going to head home, get something to eat quick, and be back and put sand in. Alright guys, we're back. I'm going to chase the cows outside. Already a lot of them outside. The fresh group, all of them are outside except for one. And I'd say there's probably, I don't know, 30 cows or so, 40 cows that are in here laying down or eating or everyone else outside enjoying the nice weather. It's supposed to be in the 60s the next three days and then go back down to the 40s and rain. And then it's gonna get kind of cold again in the 30s and 20s, I see. So we'll enjoy it while we, while we can. Last thing you gotta do for tonight with chores. My uncle did half the other chores, so didn't get video of those chores happening, but always gotta check for babies. Make sure no one's calving or needs help or anything. But oh there's a calf in the dry cow lot. Not where they're supposed to have their babies. Oh man. That cow doesn't even look like she has a bag really to calve, so. That's why we didn't move her over, I guess, but. All right, well, go tell my uncle. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go move the mom and the calf over just to the calving shed side where they're supposed to have their babies. Uh, we don't have any fresh milk left over from another fresh cow in the fridge or anything, so 
we wouldn't be able to feed it till tomorrow um, tomorrow night so we don't really want to take it away from its mom so if it wants to drink something it can hopefully figure it out by being with its mom but that's our plan that's what we're gonna do till we can move the mom up tomorrow and then the calf can get some some milk from its mom after we milk her in a bucket No problem. We had it plugged in for a couple hours. <laughs>